Hi, welcome back to Oh Ashley. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be making something super easy. Since we're going through this quarantine period, some of us are already in it, and most of us are expected to have to go through it, I wanted to show you guys some easy uh, instant pot recipes. So stay tuned throughout the next few weeks. I'll probably just be making stuff in my Instant Pot because it's super easy. This actually only requires a few ingredients and it's stuff you can pick up at your grocery store if you can still find these items. I found them today with no problem. I wanted to just show you guys how I make this. It is cream of chicken and rice. My mom makes this, my aunt makes this. Like it's literally a staple in my family. And normally we just do it like on the stove and then put it in a baking pan. I figured since this Instant Pot is literally like nine in one different um, appliances, you can just do it all in this one pot. So I got the Instant Pot recently and I wanted to show you guys how I use it. So the first thing I wanna do is just take the lid off. You can sit it right on the handle, super, super convenient. So these presets are here to help us. So you can click any of these buttons, depending on what you wanna make. You can saute, you can slow cook, you can pressure cook, whatever you wanna do. So I'm going to actually be using a couple different settings on here. Right now, I'm going to saute. So I'm just gonna hit the saute button. And I wanna saute for not 30 minutes, this is crazy. Um, I'll probably saute this for like, okay, maybe 10 minutes. So it's on, so I'm gonna let this heat up. I'm gonna grab my olive oil. I'm gonna saute this chicken in olive oil. So while this is getting hot, I'm going to just sit here and wait because everything is already prepped for this video. While I'm waiting for it to heat up, I'm actually gonna just show you guys all the ingredients. So you're just gonna need some chicken breast. These I have already cut up and prepared. Um, you're gonna need some garlic. You're going to need a can of cream of chicken or you can just use chicken broth if you don't want it to be creamy. Some people put cheese in there, whatever you want. Personally, it's not cream of chicken and rice if you don't have cream of chicken. You're gonna need this cream of chicken right here. Then you're going to also need some onions. I chopped up an onion here, a whole onion. It's gonna just blend right into the rice. To me, it just gives it more flavor. I'm actually using basmati rice for this. So this is two cups of rice. And then I have two cups of chicken broth here, which I'm actually going to use later, like to deglaze this once we cook the chicken. The chicken broth, and I'm going to add a, another third cup of water because I have two cups of rice. So I'm always gonna do one more cup of liquid than the actual amount of rice. So just remember that, um, and that's really it. We're just using some 21 Seasoning Salute from Trader Joe's. This is my favorite seasoning to put on chicken. Um, and obviously some adobo and some black pepper. Honestly, you don't need a whole lot. So don't think you gotta, I gotta pour salt and pepper all over this, you don't. All you need are just these three ingredients if you want this to taste amazing. All right, so while this is heating up, it's gonna let me know too when it's ready. So it's just saying on. So I'm just gonna wait for it to heat up and I will be right back. All right guys, so my Instant Pot is hot. Okay, I'm gonna take the lid off. It's definitely hot. Put a little olive oil in here. Yeah, it's hot. And then I'm going to start with my garlic and my onions. So I've basically um, seasoned this chicken and the onions in there. I'm actually going to add a little more 21 seasoning in here. Cover this up. I'm gonna add a teensy bit more adobo. I just, I just love flavor. And then what I'm gonna do, so if you've ever made like rice and beans or anything like that, or Mexican rice, you're gonna toast the rice a little. So I'm gonna pour this rice in here with the chicken before I add any liquids. And I'm just gonna stir this around so it can just brown a little. So I like to just, to, this really helps get in that flavor. So you just wanna like kind of brown your rice in here. Just toast it in there. So it can pick up that olive oil, that seasoning. Okay, so here's something that I didn't think about until now, but I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic butter in here with the rice. 
this just has so much flavor, just like literally a tablespoon. Um, and I'm going to mix it in. And I'm just going to mix that butter in here so it melts into that rice. Like I said, we love flavor around here. The next thing I want to do is just add this cream of chicken in. And put this back here. I'm going to mix the cream of chicken in the rice. Now I'm going to add my chicken broth, which is just going to deglaze this. And it should be, yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to mix all this together. I'm gonna add another cup of water. Remember, we have two cups of chicken broth in here. So, you wanna add one more cup of water. Because we have two cups of rice in here, you're gonna definitely want to add three cups of liquid. So, two cups of chicken broth for me and one cup of actual water. I did a tablespoon of the garlic butter and then the seasonings obviously the onions and stuff if you wanted to add carrots and celery you can i don't like that in mine i just like mine like creamy with just rice and chicken um, but if you want to make a vegetable on the side you can as well or if you want to add vegetables to this you absolutely can also so let's just mix this up because now we're going to pressure cook it now that everything's in the pot and it's done, I'm going to turn this on pressure cook and I'm going to cook it for 10 minutes. All right, so it's basically finished. I am going to just start scooping it out into a bowl. Oh, yeah, look at the nice, just creamy chicken and rice in here. Those big chunks of chicken. Oh, it's just gonna be so good. Let's do a close up. All right guys, so my cream of chicken and rice is ready. It kind of reminds me of like a risotto. Mm -hmm. So good. And it sort of tastes like chicken soup, like cream of chicken soup, but if you make this in like the actual oven, it's more of a bake and it still has that same creamy consistency. It's just more like crispy on top. But personally, I mean, either way work, either way works to be honest. But if you want to do it quickly, the Instant Pot is your friend. And this is really good. Yeah, it actually came out really, really good. So this is just a really hearty, like easy meal to make for your family. If you guys are interested, I'll leave the recipe down below. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll have more recipes for you throughout the week. Love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.